Hi, it's Mark with At My Home, and today we're going to review the Guardian leak detection system. Have you ever worried about having water leak out of your wash machine or under your water heater or under the sink? Well, this system will not only detect the water leak, but will actually shut your water off to prevent further damage. Okay, let's take a look what's in the box. A whole bunch of things. All right. First of all, it's an open me. We'll get to that in a minute. And this is one of the leak detectors. Now you'll notice we actually purchased an additional two leak detectors so we can cover more parts or more places in our home. And uh, but that's the leak detector. They also give you a leak detector extension. So for example, if this doesn't fit under your washer or wherever you want to put it, you can plug this in to one of the pucks and then you can extend the leak detection to somewhere else in the room. All right, that takes care of that. We don't need the silicon gel or the cardboard. And take a look, this is all the things that come in the box. So what do we have? Well, first of all, we have a power adapter. And we have if I can get it out of here. You know, they give you a little handle to take it out with, that's nice. And we have the leak detection system, this is it. So this is just the power cord. These two things are clamps that you actually clamp around your water pipe. And this little foot here actually fits over the valve. Now you have to have what's called a ball valve, that's the one with a handle on it. And uh, basically you just put this over that, clamp these to the pipes, and you've now physically installed this, then you just have to open up the app and set it all up in the app. And that's all it takes. So we take a look at that. There's nothing else in the box. Put that over here. All right, so what we have is the Guardian, the leak detectors. We have two spare leak detectors, so we can put them elsewhere. And the really nice thing is this comes with an optional battery. So we picked up the optional battery and what's good about this is that if the power goes out in your house, these pucks will still communicate to the Guardian and shut off the water. So you're all set. And that's it. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go install the app and we'll install the Guardian on the pipes and we'll set it up and show you how it works. Okay, now we're going to hook up the valve controller onto our water line. Now, you just want to make sure you find the proper shutoff valve. This is the ball valve here. This controls the water to the house. You don't want to put it on the lower one here if you happen to have a sprinkler system because you don't want to shut that off. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, fit it underneath the valve. Let's see, like that. All right. And then you make sure that this little block bracket here fits over the valve. And you push it on like this. All right, so we're hooked up. We just tighten down the clamps. Make sure it's pushed in all the way. Mm, tighten the clamp up. Okay, we're on. You notice that the way this is mounted, right? You also notice that the valve fits against this here. So now what I can do is I can press the button on the top of the unit. Yep. Before I do that though, I better plug it in. Okay, let's see. So we'll just put this together. And it's just a little watertight connection. Okay. Alright, the other thing we have is we have the optional battery. So this battery will operate the unit for a little while if the power goes out. So now we just have to line it up. Oop, doesn't go that way. Line it up the right way. It can't go in the wrong way. Push it in. Put the cover back on. That's it. We've now installed the optional backup battery. So it's all plugged in, ready to go. So now it's turned on. Now there's a button in the top. I'm going to press that button. And what it's going to do is it's going to test the valve. So now it's closing the water valve. All right, if I press it again, it's going to open the water valve. 
So now we've assembled the unit mechanically to the, to the water valve. Now we're going to hook up the app and then we can do it automated and we'll also take one of the leak detectors and we'll hook that up as well and we'll test that out. So one of the things to keep in mind when you're doing the installation is we put this on the valve that controls the water to the house. Below this is another valve and this house has a sprinkler system in it. In California you have to have sprinklers in the houses now that are new. And you don't want to connect it to that valve. You want to connect it only to the valve that controls the water in the house. All right, so now we're going to hook up the app. So what you have to do is go to the app store. Say I want to find Guardian by Alexia. And then we tell it to get it. So we already have it loaded. So now we'll open it up. First thing we do is register it. All right, put in our email address. And we'll put our password in. All right, so we end up, uh, after we log in, we get a blank screen. We press the plus key. It tells us where we're located. So we're saving our location. And it shows we have zero devices hooked up. So now we're gonna hook up the valve controller to our house. So we press the screen and it says valve controllers, leak detectors. Let's first add the valve controller. So we'll press valve controller. We'll add the valve controller. Enter the pin below and click connect to get started. So turns out there's a pin on the yellow tag on the top of this. Our pin number is five delta five four. We say connect. Now it wants to join the network. So it says connecting to the device. We're running a diagnostics. It beeped, that's a good sign. It wants to know where we wanna hook up, so we're gonna hook up to this network here. We'll call the valve, the water valve. All right, and now we're gonna say connect. Your valve controller is now updating. It may take 10 minutes to complete. At least one more update will occur after this. Okay, we now have the app installed and the water shutoff is installed in the app. The valve controller is installed on the shutoff valve. So let's see if it works. Let's go into the page. Click on close the water valve. And as you can see, it closes the valve. And if I press it again, it'll open. It also gave me a notification that the valve had been closed and it'll give us another one when it's open. All right, now the next thing. So there it is. It says right here, the water shutoff has been opened. So the water's back on again. Now let's connect up one of the leak detectors and we'll go back to the main screen. We'll say plus and this time we'll say leak detector. In order to pair leak detector, you need to scan the QR code. Okay. So here's our leak detector. There's a QR code in the back. So we'll just scan it. All right, it's now scanned it. This is, what do I want to name it? Okay, we'll make this one here the master bath. All right, we'll say done. We'll say save. It's now been paired. It says it's wet, which we know that's not quite true. What we're going to do now is we're going to go off and make it wet. So I take a little bit of water, just a little bit, dribble it on top. You hear it make a noise. And then what should happen is it's beeping away and the valve is closing. Now it's going to keep beeping until I get rid of the water. You can also get the water on these sensors here. If I take my finger, Imagine this is on the ground and behind the, behind the sink. Put my finger on there because it's wet. You see the same thing, it detected the water. So these leak detectors are really good. They really detect really well and they automatically shut off your water. Now the other thing this thing will do is tell you when the events occurred. So it just told us we opened the valve. And as you can see, it's telling us sensor is dry, the valve was open, leak detected, valve was opened. So it gives you a status so you can always go back and look and see what happened. Okay, it's all installed and as you can see, it works really well. Now keep in mind, we did have a little trouble when it came to updating the firmware. Once we brought it inside near the router, it didn't seem to have any problems anymore. We did a few retries and it finally, it finally took. 
And uh, now it's working great. It's sitting in the garage, has no problem reaching the Wi-Fi, and it's protecting the house. Thank you for watching our video today. We've included more information in the description below, including links on where to buy. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring the bell so you'll be notified the next time we post a video. For more smart home stories, visit appmyhome.com. Thank you.